Hey guys, what's up? It's Angel the Twin here, and today we're gonna to be doing a Baptiste guide. We're gonna be going over his abilities, how to use them, what team comps he works with, what maps he's really good on, and you know, just sort of a, a deep dive so that people have a better understanding on what his kit's all about. He's been out for around, I think he's been out for around a, a month live, and then he's also been on the PTR for you know a little bit longer than that. But I've seen a lot of people playing him in competitive and some people seem to, to grasp what what he's all about and some people just really don't understand what's going on here so hopefully we can clear that up and uh, get deep into Baptiste and what he does so Baptiste is the newest support hero to overwatch his difficulty is three stars and I think that's that's pretty fair to say he does have a nice high skill ceiling you'll see very good Baptiste players play him really well and contribute to the to the game a lot and very bad but t-spec players are gonna you know be very detrimental to the team all right let's get started with his weapon biotic launcher so it's a three round burst gun i think the only other gun in the game that's kind of a burst weapon like this is lucio's but this fires way faster and it is hit scan not projectile that's his left click. That's his damaging ability. But you also have a right click, which you lob a healing projectile that heals all allies near the impact. So it is AOE. You don't have to hit your targets directly like Anna would, for example. And it is projectile unlike Anna. So you have to keep in mind the you know, time it takes for, for the projectile to travel to get to the destination to heal the people you're trying to heal. Okay, so here is Batiste. Biotic launcher. This is primary weapon. You can see it is a three round burst headshots do count You do get more damage for headshots unlike Anna And you can see there is a bit of recoil to it as well So it's it's kind of a weird weapon to shoot especially when you first start using Baptiste since no other weapon in the game has that that recoil feature um, it, it does feel interesting like I said, when you first use it, it's very different, but once once you get used to it, you can actually pump out quite a bit of damage with Baptiste. So we look at the damage. It does 12.5 to 25 damage per bullet, and you know, you shoot three projectiles, so that means you can get around 37.5 to 75 per shot so if all three bullets hit the head you're gonna do 75 damage if all three bullets hit the body you're gonna do 37.5 damage um, there is a fall off range 40 40 meters is fall off so you can see once you're back here oh that wasn't a good example that one's gonna die too when i shoot it okay here we go you can see you do do quite a bit less damage it does take a lot a bit longer to, to shoot so He's definitely more of a mid to close range hero. He, you can do damage from far away. You can, you know, tickle some people. But up close is where you kind of do the, the most damage and, and mid range. Um, for his healing, you have his grenades, the right click. This is 60 healing per shot. Um, and it does go, you can shoot at around 1.25 shots per second. So it's not super quick, but if you're close enough, you can minimize the amount of time the projectile is in the air and you can heal up your, your teammates a bit better. So again, you do kind of want to be closer to the team than let's say an Anna would, right? All right, let's take a look at his next ability because it's another healing and it's super important. Okay, so the next ability is his regenerative burst. So I forgot to mention that he cannot heal himself with his projectile healing grenades. Those do not he heal Baptiste at all. They only heal allies. So in order to heal yourself, the only thing you have is your regenerative burst. So you activate it, it heals yourself and nearby allies over time. It is smaller, the, the AOE is smaller than Lucio's, much smaller. But the good news is once the targets get hit, uh, they will heal over time. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to go to our bots that are going to beat up right here. Press shift. You all look like you needed some healing. And you can see it does heal over time at a decent rate. This plus your healing grenades. Very, very good. So regenerative burst does 30 healing per second, which 
if you let it go the full time, the full cast time is 0.5 seconds. So it's very quick to cast and it lasts for five seconds. So when you think about it, you can do around 150 healing uh, max if, if the target doesn't get hit. I mean, even if, even if they do get hit, you're gonna do 150 uh, health max. It's just gonna, you know, take a while to get there. Uh, this has a 13 second cooldown, I'm pretty sure. Let me see again, it might be 15 seconds. So one thing you'll notice with Baptiste is his cooldowns are very, very long. It is 15 seconds. His cooldowns are very, very long, which makes it vital that you understand when to use it and, you know, when to when to save it because once you use it 15 seconds is a very long time in overwatch so you know be careful with that but like i said that burst of regenerative regenerative healing to yourself and your allies along with your grenades gives baptiste the ability to heal a lot i don't think he heals enough to be a primary healer but as a secondary healer he can definitely carry the the rest of the weight of the heals if you have an anna or mercy or moira you know coupled along with him all right before we get to his two biggest abilities the two game changing abilities that he has let's go ahead and look at his passive there's exo boots you hold crouch to jump higher um the longer you hold it the higher you jump and we'll take a look at that right now all right so if you look where the crosshair is in the middle of the screen if i crouch right below it you can see that meter right there fill up all the way that's max you can jump and boom you're up in the air he is the only support in the game that has instant vertical mobility um, mercy needs someone to fly to and lucio does take some time to wall ride his way up so this is very very useful and unique to baptiste it gives him the ability to take the high ground um, you know, battle targets that are kind of far away from him. So, for example, a far or a mercy. Uh, specifically, mercy, more or less far, can really do some damage to you, which we'll we'll talk about later on in the video. But exo boots are really good. The cooldown is almost nothing. I think the minute you land, you can go back to charging it. The one thing I will say is you do have to crouch to charge it, which makes you move slow. So you're you're really really easy target to hit and as well as when you jump You can see you're just kind of floating very very Predictable Flight path for you if you're, if you're jumping straight into the air So you want to be careful on when you use this ability especially if the enemy team has snipers and whatnot uh, It's very good to, to get around the map maybe to duck in and out of cover while you shoot or heal your teammates Again, you do have projectile healing like this. So if you can get to the high ground and no one can contest you, you can do a lot for your team in terms of healing and damage. All right, let's take a look at his other abilities. So the next ability we're gonna go over is his E, his immortality field. This is something that was, you know, the target of a huge controversy because you basically put down a device and your team can't die as long as they're inside the immortality field and it's up it literally stops them from dying there's no amount of damage in the game that can kill them because they just stop taking damage but it is very very important that you understand that this device can be destroyed it 100 percent can be destroyed so let's take a look at it all right for the immortality field right here put it on these bots Get in here. there it is you can see it does have a health bar of its own but right there that blue health they no longer take damage as long as the, sh the shield is on them and uh, that provides you with a chance to heal your team up and you know let your team survive activated. through some high just ridiculously high burst damage i'm telling you diva bomb roadhog ultimate genji blade hanzo they can throw everything at your team as long as that immortality matrix is up it will Keep your team alive 100%. But like I said, it can be destroyed. So it lasts eight seconds. It is a big cooldown. One of the biggest cooldowns in the game. It has a 20 second cooldown. And I believe it does work in terms of line of sight. So the next time we'll be able to use it, I'm going to try to throw it here and we'll see if it keeps the bots alive. 
Or if they if they get the buff from the immortality field. Alright, let's take a look. Get in here. Alright, as you can see, they don't get the buff from it. So it does have to have line of sight of the the allies it's trying to apply the buff to. In terms of its own HP, I believe that has 250 You're HP. You can see up there. And you might think that's a lot, but really it's immobile and everyone on the enemy team can shoot at it and they will be shooting at it. So you have to time your use of that ability very, very carefully. Um, like I said, it is on a 20 second cooldown. So you really need to use it uh, at the perfect time really in order for it to work because at higher levels, for example, even at, at diamond, at the diamond level, you throw that immortality field, people are taking it down. Well, mo most people are. Then again, you run into some people that don't really know that it can be destroyed or don't want to take the time to destroy it. So they end up just wasting their time shooting at the, at the enemies. But again, very valuable in terms of keeping your team alive. It does give you that last second chance to, to keep your team alive and heal them up to full health especially with the help of a primary healer okay his last ability his ultimate amplification matrix did i call it immortality field the immortality matrix i kind of got the two mixed up i think anyways his amplification matrix is his ultimate his q so this projects a matrix that doubles the damage and healing effects of allied projectiles when it says projectiles it means anything that can that can be shot through it so hanzo's arrows get the buff soldiers bullets get the butts the buffs mccree's bullets get the buff even if it's hit scan um i think they just put the word projectiles in there to show you that literally anything that flies across the map that does damage i think instantly because i don't think anna's grenade gets the buff but for example reinhardt's flame strike if he throws it through the amp matrix it will get the buff um reaper if he shoots through it he'll get the buff if anna heals through it she'll get the buff regardless of um, whether she's using her primary fire scoped in or not scoped in uh so it's it's really really strong so we'll take a look at it right now all right, amplification matrix Q. So you see, you, you press Q, you get this uh, this square sort of show up on your screen and that's where the matrix is going to be. Let's place it down right here. Let them out. Right, you can shoot All through it with your healing. Yeah. You see how much healing it does. It doubles it. So remember these heal at, these grenades heal at 60 HP per second. So through the, through the field, it heals 120 HP um, per hit. So that's really, really good. That's a ton of healing. And that coupled with maybe Ana um, or even Moira's orb gets the buff as well, I believe. So you, know, you can really put out a ton of healing, a ton of AOE healing and help your team out a lot. But let's take a look at it from the damage perspective so I can show you how much damage this thing does. Okay, so I've taken the high ground here. I'm going to put the matrix right here and let's take some shots. You can see a headshot. If you hit all three bullets, it's 75 damage. So double that and you have 150 damage in one hit. So you can basically one tap a tracer. It does so much damage, especially if... You're using it along with another DPS hero. So Soldier 76 is kind of strong right now. Or Junkrat, they can just, you know, pop their ultimate. Not Junkrat's ultimate, but Soldier's ultimate. And um, through the amplification field, it just does ridiculous amounts of damage. Just shreds through the opponents, shreds through, through the tanks, through the barriers. It does a lot. The amplification matrix lasts eight seconds. But something that I really want people to be aware of it, is how easily you charge up your ultimate you can get a lot of ultimate charge from healing from doing damage right we're at 51 right here 55 68 we heal up over here a bit 74 you charge it up really really quickly so i, I wouldn't say you know hold on to it too long like you would other really big ultimates that are kind of hard to charge like maybe uh lucio ultimate or even uh trance if you're not hitting too many shots can take a, a while to charge this thing charges ridiculously quickly 
and it could potentially be, be fight changing. Now a lot of people are going to be very tempted to pop this thing down and just go to work with his primary fire doing damage. But it is a lot harder to hit targets than, than I'm sort of making it look on these training bots. The training bots, they move slow. They have huge hitboxes, so all three of your shots hit all the time. But it is uh, at medium to long range, very difficult to hit shots with this weapon so you kind of want to use the amplification matrix i think nine times out of ten to buff your healing that's that's one of the biggest tips i can give you guys um i used to do the same thing i used to you know pop it down and just start throwing dps through it you know let them up oh this was a bad example but using it for for healing is a lot better especially when you've got yourself a bunker comp which Baptiste seems to work out in most of the time you know you have yourself an Orisa, a Roadhog, uh, a Bastion, stuff like that, a Torbjorn maybe where everybody's grouped up you can just dump out a ton of, of healing for them and if you play with a bunker comp like that you can just put it in front of your Bastion and he can throw out a ton of damage as well so it's very versatile ultimate very easy to farm so you can expect to have maybe four or five of them in a round if, it, if you're charging your ultimate well all right so that does it for his abilities right now i want to give you guys some little pointers here and there on how you should be playing baptiste um, and who you should be playing him with in what team comps and maybe even what maps and then we'll sort of get to how to counter baptiste if he's on the other team uh because you know he's a brand new hero everybody's playing him right now and if if you can get the upper hand and just beat that one hero overwatch is such a team game that all better the enemy team now. playing 5v6 because you just destroying their baptiste is almost a free win for you all the time so like we talked about baptiste is healing with projectile and he does have this aoe heal which the range is very very small the range is, is around 10 meters that's the radius of the uh the regenerative the regenerative heal so you do want to stay relatively close to your team i know a lot of people see he's a range support and they want to sit back where anna would normally be or maybe zenyatta and that's definitely not the case you do want to be either right with your team or actually not that close um, you wouldn't be as close as you would be with Lucio or Brigitte, but you wouldn't be as far back as you would with Anna or Zenyatta. So you kind of want to play him more like uh, Moira or Mercy in terms of range, maybe even a bit further back. So something around, let me see if this hits. Yeah, the burst hits them. If you play around right here with your team, uh, you'll you'll be okay. This is decent posi positioning and then again if you can claim the high ground and no one can Contest you you can do a lot for the team in terms of healing and damage uh, Quick reminder you are a support. I see a lot of people uh, Like I said with his ultimate, you know going full DPS and just forgetting about healing the team But his primary role a hundred percent is a support and a healing one at that so you're going to want to make sure you're doing your fair share of healing. It's very easy to get a ton of healing with Baptiste as well because of the AoE uh, healing and then his ultimate being able to buff it as well. Your immortality field keeping your teammates alive, allowing you to, to heal more, which in turn All needs better. more ultimate charge, yeah. which means more ultimates. So, you know, he, his kit is very useful, but you need to stay alive to do so. Why do I mention this? because of the range you're playing him right you don't want to play him too close because one thing baptiste is very vulnerable to is just getting absolutely obliterated remember he only has one ability that heals himself it's his regenerative burst and it's on a 15 second cooldown you only have 200 hp and you have no armor or shields your only form of mobility is vertical with his jump so if you're too close to the team to the enemy team and you throw down your immortality field they burst that down you can definitely get wiped just absolutely destroyed you want to be careful when fighting winston hammond any dive tanks 
really anyone far is really dangerous to you she can kill you in almost two shots if not three if they land directly or even if they don't with the recent buff to her so you do want to you know keep his range in mind again just to go over the range you should be playing at is medium towards your towards your teammates and you really don't want to be shooting at anyone at long range with him sort of medium to close range is good it's a lot easier to hit his shots and and do a good amount of damage for your team all right for the next tip let's talk about his immortality field we briefly touched on this but like i said it can be destroyed but its utility is beyond any other ability that a support has in the game it just keeps your team alive so you really want to save it for either yourself or your teammates for big damaging abilities so i'm talking tracers bomb uh her ultimate diva bomb junk tire all sorts of ultimates like this i will say uh, you need to be warned if they have an enemy soldier 76 because his ultimate now targets the immortality field so he'll burst that thing down real quick and then tear apart your teammates especially if he's nano boosted or something like that all right let's talk about team comps and specifically what supports you want to play baptiste with so the one support duo that I think does not work at all with Baptiste is Baptiste and Lucio. I don't think you provide enough healing for your team um, at all with, with both of those supports. I do like having Lucio on the team because his ultimate is really, really good in terms of defensive ultimates. Um, but yeah, Lucio and Baptiste are not great. Zen and Baptiste might not be too great either. I think you really want to run Baptiste as an off support and then have Mercy, Moira, or Anna come in and, and, you know, take the main load of healing. That's not to say you can't run it with a Lucio. I've seen Baptiste Lucio work in, in lower levels of play. So if you're playing in Diamond or, or below, maybe even low Masters, I think you could make it work if, if you guys play around the Baptiste and Lucio enough to where their their healing can always be on but uh most of the time Lucio is going to be switching between speed boost and healing and then that leaves Baptiste to do all of the heavy lifting when it comes to healing and again he has his healing grenades but his left shift which is his heal over time is on a 15 second cooldown you do have 10 shots and then you have to reload so Lucio Baptiste doesn't really work. With that being said, most of the other supports work really well with Baptiste. I think the best combo by far is Anna Baptiste or Mercy Baptiste. Anna and Mercy both provide so much healing for the team that it really gives you the chance to um, make sure you're, you're helping out with heals, of course, since that's your main priority. But also uh, in downtime, you're, you're able to do quite a bit of damage with Baptiste to shields and, and things like that. And, you know, you're able to protect Anna as Baptiste as well with your immortality matrix, your shift healed so, so that she can heal um, with you. And her grenade helps you and her heal each other as well. So Anna Baptiste, very good. Plus Anna's um, healing through the amplification matrix, his ultimate is through the roof. It it's just so much healing that I can't see it going wrong. When it, when it comes to, to the weirdest composition, I think I've seen too is Baptiste and Brigitte. Uh, I, I don't think that works too much as well. You do have quite a bit of healing, but the only problem that I can see with that team comp, and this goes for Moira and, uh, and Mercy uh, as well, is that you you tend to not have a defensive ultimate with baptiste and and um those heroes so you're solely relying on baptiste's ability to use his immortality matrix or immortality field sorry excuse me to to sort of get you through those grab combos and whatnot and you know eight times out of ten it's it's rarely gonna work so i'd be i'd be weary when comboing him with brigitte and whatnot but from what i've seen like i said he does kind of work with almost every support well, uh, aside from, from Lucio. Next, let's talk about maps that Baptiste is good on. Uh, this, this part of the video is super easy. 
uh, he's really good like he can be played on almost every single map even <laughs> maps that are super long range because you can play him in a bunker comp on those and uh, sort of, you know, heal up your Bastion, heal up your Torbjorn, your Orisa. Nobody's getting too far away from you, so you don't have to get too far from them. And um, he really makes it work on, on all sorts of maps. I think his best maps by far are going to be close range ones. Um, I think Hanamura first point is an interesting map for, he, for him to be on because of his immortality field and sort of his ability to, to give his team that window of opportunity to sort of push through. Um, as well as his mobility, he can get into window and, you know, kind of check stuff out and whatnot and drop back and sort of shoot around, stuff like that. I think as well, Eichenwald, first point. Eichenwald, actually the whole map, he's pretty good on, but first point specifically, um, he tends to work really well since most teams will run bunker comps there as well. Um, before we get on to his counters and how to really play against Baptiste, Let's talk about one more tip that I had. This one is um, courtesy of ML7. I think he's the one that came up with this tip. It's really, really useful. So for example, um, if you're on, let's say I can wall the first point and the game's about to start, you know, five seconds, four, three, two, one, you can kind of count when that team's gonna come to that choke. You can shoot your grenades up into the air and you'll see this right now. And they'll just start landing, right? Healing your tanks. And you can reload while this is happening. So you're getting healing down and you're already ready to start healing again. So again, you can count. Let's see how long it takes for them to drop. You shoot one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seconds around for it to land. So you do have a good time. I say you should start probably shooting them around four seconds or maybe three gives the enemy team a chance to push up to that choke. And then you're getting a lot of healing down for your, for your tanks when they're right about to take some damage. So that's really, really good. I can't take credit for, for that tip. It was definitely ML7. I saw it in one of his videos, I think, but it's a really, really good tip. And I had to share it with you guys because um, it could be all the difference at that the beginning of that fight. Uh, real quick, another question I see a lot of people ask is, can you shoot both the primary and secondary fire at the same time? And you cannot. You have to. You have to make that decision. You can get it close. So here, I'll press both buttons, and you can see how how quick that goes. Right? You can you can right click, left click pretty quickly, but you can't shoot both of them at the same time. Right? So if you're gonna try to do something like that, um, and you can hit your target and them at the same time, since your bullets will go through your teammates, you can go. Bam, 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 bam. That's as, that's as quick as you can sort of do it. But uh, I've seen a lot of people ask that question, so I wanted to get that out of the way as well. All right, finally, let's talk about Baptiste counters. So I mentioned earlier in the video, you are squishy. You have 200 HP, you got one self-healing ability, and you are very slow, aside from, from your vertical mobility, which also makes you slower while charging it up. So. If you're really close to your team and the enemy team's playing dive comp, you're going to get destroyed. You're gonna get absolutely hammered. If you're playing around corners and they have a sniper and you jump into the air, the chances of you dying, especially if you're playing against a good player, are almost 100%. You're just gonna get sniped out of the air. You're super easy to predict your movements and uh, you're just gonna take a ton of shots. Uh, with that said, some DPS that sort of counter Baptiste's well, from what I've been seeing, is definitely Farah, Junkrat, anyone who has really high damage. I mean, right now, Junkrat could just left click and then use his um, mine ability, and he will just one to zero you instantly. You have no chance to throw your immortality field or heal or whatnot. You will just die. So, in terms of counters, anything that can dive onto you, anything that does a ton of burst damage because. Again, you're super squishy. Um, even even a Soldier 76 that has good aim can put out a lot of damage on you. So my advice is, again, stay medium range to your team so your tanks can help you, your other support can help you, your DPS can help you, but also you know, kind of play around uh, cover because you're definitely going to need it. And again, don't, don't sort of peek out trying to do damage. Your main job is to heal your team. So if you can heal your team, go ahead and do it. All right, guys, so I think that finishes it for this basic Baptiste video. I 
think I covered everything I wanted to. Again, this isn't an, an ultimate guide on how to be a pro Baptiste player. I really just wanted to go over the basics and help people really understand how his kit works, what his strengths, what his weaknesses are, and how to go about playing him in this season and next season. I do think we are going to start seeing a lot more of him. Goats is still kind of the meta and he doesn't really fit into that team comp too well. But from what I'm seeing from Blizzard and the Overwatch staff, I think they're kind of trying to move away from that. So we should be seeing him and other interesting comps in the Overwatch League and in Overwatch pretty Target soon. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. There are more videos to come for not only Overwatch, but other games as well that I'm playing. I do stream on Twitch. Uh, I'll leave the link to it in the description below and a link to my Twitter so you can go ahead and follow me over there. Again, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys understand Baptiste a little bit more. And I'll see you all next time, all right? I'm Angel the Twin, and I'm out of here. Peace.